Okay, we're working on a uh, Simpson brand pressure washer, 3300 PSI, and uh, the pump's bad. Got one right here. This one's almost brand new. It's another Simpson, but it's 3700. It's got a bad pump. Let me explain something to you guys. You guys say, "Hey, what, what do you, what do you think? It, why do you think it pumps bad? Because it's bad." Uh, <laughs> you know why it's like that? It's because it's the way that it is. Now, this guy bought these two pressure washers and he did the two big no-nos. I deal with this stuff every day and I absolutely refuse to work on those pumps. I'll replace them, but I'm not going to work on them no more. Because what happens is, when people start their pressure washers, they'll spray for a while and then they lay their wand down and they go over there and they do something. And what's going on in this pump is this pump don't have water flowing through it. And these are not high quality pumps here. I mean, you can see them. They're, they're nice pumps, don't get me wrong, but they're not a commercial rig that recirculates. So these pumps burn up. And when these pumps burn up, you can absolutely, re or you can rebuild them. I'm not going to because, you know, these things... Let's see, this one's got a Kohler, a six and a half horse Kohler on it. And this one's got a 200 cc Honda on it. So they're about the same size engines, but they have two different pumps on them. Two different pumps means two different pump kits. Pump kits are only for the pump and they're, they're a nightmare. You get the wrong pump kit, then you're ordering them again. So I mean, It'll take you 30, 45 minutes to find the right pump kit for each one of these and double and triple check. That way you're not beating yourself, beating your brains out, trying to find out why these things won't go together the way they are. And by the time you add up all the time, you can absolutely just swap them. So this customer, I said, I tell you what, I can get, you know, I can show you where the model number is on this pump and you can order one and replace it yourself. You literally have to take these four bolts out right there, and it falls off. That's it. Put the new one on, put the four bolts in. He said, nah, you go ahead and order them, and uh, put them on. Let me know when they're ready to go. Okay, that's fine with me. However, I hope you understand, if I'm ordering your parts, I'm marking them up for my time, and then I'm going to put them on, and I'm going to charge you the labor to do so. It's way cheaper if you do it. Anybody with a dollar store socket, socket set, toolbox, whatever, cheap Walmart tools could do this job. And he's like, no, I want you to do it. So let me show you. Well, I can't show you. I'll tell you right now. Those two pumps to replace them. I don't want to put the guy's name on here. Uh, after labor, shipping, parts, and everything, $770 and three pennies. So... Don't lay your wands down and go do something else. If you're going to lay your wand down on your pressure washer, on your gas pressure washer, because it really doesn't matter on the uh, electric ones. They just turn off when you're not using them. But kill the engine and then restart it when you're ready to work again. The other thing I want to show you, pump saver. You get this right here, screw it into the water inlet, shoot it full of pump oil when you're you know at the end of the year because what happens you're using it around here not everywhere but around here we have really hard water so you get all that calcium and those minerals in there and then it just sets all winter even if it's in a, a heated garage or whatever that pumps almost most of the time it's junk come the next year it's not coming up to pressure right. It's not coming off of pressure right. It's hanging on. It's surging now because all those seals have went bad in there. So just a, just a uh, tip for any of those, any of y'all with a pressure washer that don't use it real regularly. If you're using it every day, like I use the one here to wash equipment and stuff, every six months I'll give it a shot of this stuff. If, um, if you use it a couple times a year, when you're done with it, 
just take that Briggs and Stratton pump saver, pull the rope a couple times, let it cycle through there, and you're done. So anyway, I'll set you down and show you how easy it is to change this pump. All right, I took the three of the four bolts out, and I'm going to take this fourth one out right here. All right, when you get them all out, it'll swivel like this. Just take it and work it off. Or maybe not. Okay, the, uh, the shaft had got a little rust on it there. It'll get you a little screwdriver, a little pry bar. There's, there's no... Uh, retainer or anything in it. Just gotta work it off a little bit at a time. Be sure not to break the case on the back of the engine. There we go. You can see how rusty that shaft is. There. And that's to be expected. It pumps water. You can see how, I got my light on me to look down the side. You can see how rusty that is. But that keyway is the only thing that holds it on. Then you take this one, and you put your other one back on. Let me walk over and grab it. All right, here's a new pump. Looks just like it. We're just going to, I'll put a little bit of, I'll just put some of this pump hole on there to make it make it uh, slide on there a little better won't hurt nothing Put your four bolts back in. And I mean, that is it. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure this pump is full of oil. <clears throat> some people, or some suppliers ship them with oil. Some suppliers do not. Usually, if they don't, they'll have a tag under this cap right here. And you're supposed to take that cap off and put the vent back in it so it can vent. But I'll tighten these three or these two other bolts here and the two that I put in a while ago. And this job, I'll take it out and run it, but it, it's done. This is a very, very easy job that anybody, anybody can do. So, all right. Well, I hope I taught you something. Make sure, well, I'll see, you can see that's got oil in it. See the oil level right there. So we're good on that. I'll just put the vent in it. And we're good to go. Anyway, if you like this video, if it helped you in any way, I hope it did. I hope it keeps you from burning some pumps up, costing you some money. Uh, give, me, uh, give me a like, follow, and we'll see you all later. God bless.